Folks, I am so excited to do this video today for a couple of reasons. One, it's a new opportunity for you guys to support your favorite car review channel. Two, it's an opportunity for you guys to grab a cool piece of swag for yourselves that you can use every morning. And three, you can win a new car. New used car. We've partnered with the veteran-owned GetEnteredToWin.com to give away this 2005 C6 Corvette in red over black with a manual transmission, and I am super excited to do it. By going to GetEnteredToWin.com slash TST or hitting the link in our video description, you can enter to win this very car. But by the time the game ends, it won't look like this, and it probably won't drive like this, because in this video series, Zach and I are going to evaluate this straight but stockish Corvette C6, evaluate what it needs, how we can improve it to make it the best Corvette it can be. You guys can watch along and order your mugs during the course of this video series. And then on July 19th at 11.59 p.m. local time, the game will end and one of you will take home the 2005 Corvette project car. Overall, this car is pretty good. It's actually harder than you think to find a clean, no stories, uh, manual transmission Corvette. At this point, a lot of them have been really, really beat up, but there are some areas obvious right off the bat that we can improve. For one, the exhaust. It's an aftermarket system of unknown provenance. We can do better, not to mention these tips on the left are, are bent. Someone must have backed it up into something and bent that tip, so we're going to change that exhaust. The wheels, they're actually not terrible looking, but it's a total red chrome old man spec, which actually when you buy a used Corvette, old man spec is good. These tires are nine years old, which means they have to go in the garbage. But if you're considering like a used car, do you want old tires with plenty of tread still on them or brand new Michelins that are worn down to, to the wear bars? I think actually in terms of used car shopping, this is the better move. So we're gonna get rid of these wheels and do something more modern, get rid of these tires and do something that's better. Get rid of this old man spec chrome door handle. That's definitely gotta go. The paint overall, pretty decent. We're going to try and see if we can give it a good once over to make it really pop. If not, maybe we'll go for a wrap. I'm not sure. We do have the glass roof, which is nice. It's not actually glass. It's Lexan, but it adds a bit of spacious airiness to uh, the cabin. The interior, overall, it's about a six. We have to replace a couple of buttons and trim pieces, and this center armrest thing doesn't really want to stay down. So we're going to replace that, but it's not terrible and nothing major is broken and can't be fixed. Okay. On the front end, the nose has clearly been resprayed at some point, and the badge is fading. So we can replace that, fix that. Again, possibly solved with a wrap. The headlights are a little foggy. We'll use a buff kit on that, fix that up, get rid of this ugly chrome grill in here and go back to the OEM black. Again, we need to un-old man spec this car. But under the hood is all good. The LS2 engine runs really smooth. It makes good power. It had a recent service. It could use an engine bay detail for sure, but nothing major is out of whack or smelling or smoking under here. And the heart of the beast is in good shape. So Zach and I are going to hit the canyons in the car as it sits today, evaluate what it needs, how we can make it better. Let's go for a ride. Revs up properly. Sounds really good. Sounds like an LS2 is all supposed the, to sound. All the gauges work. The heads-up display works. That's yes. Even the even the G meter. There we go.
doesn't the power doesn't really change. It grows just so linearly yeah. with revs and throttle that it becomes very easy to modulate. The inputs are nice and smooth. And I think what peak torques are like 4,500. It's yeah, four, it's 400 horsepower, 400 torque, very even, and kind of the right amount of power. Something we talk about a lot is. There's a lot of cars that have too much horsepower these days when they have like six, seven hundred. You can never go full throttle in the canyons. And this no. is a nice number. The car's 3,200 pounds, good power to weight. And, uh, you know, I haven't driven a C6 in a while, but you reminded why the cam in block engine was so good for this car because the cowl is so low. When we were talking on the podcast to David Twig about a lot of front engine V8 and V12 cars have a very high cowl right that you have to either sit up higher to look over it or it's got a big bulge in the hood yeah to make room for those overhead cam heads right well this engine is so small and compact it can be mounted so low that you end up with you know as close as possible to sort of a mid-engine style vantage point in a front engine car yeah you you know you if, if in a mid-engine car you can see your own front bumper this is only like one foot beyond that right yeah the clutch feels pretty good and the shifter feels pretty good and so far the mechanicals are passing muster so okay. that's good now yeah. when i had my corvette i did a lot of modifications to it yeah <laughs> and it, a lot of people said well if you had to start over what would you do so this gives us sort of an opportunity to do something similar mm -hmm. i would have left the engine alone i would have done brakes suspension seats and exhaust and that's pretty much it. And wheel, wheels and tires, because mm -hmm. that's because the original ones were sport. Would track. you have gone with a quieter exhaust than yours? No, no. You you want to hear it, but <laughs> I'm not saying I would have done. I, I mean, I had an exhaust. He had I, an exhaust that I think it hit 135 on the decibel meter. It was so loud. It was insane. It was so loud, but it didn't need to be that loud. That was like 22 year old Matt. Right. Exhaust choices. I wouldn't have done that. This exhaust sounds actually pretty nice up here in the canyons where I'm between three and 5,000 RPM. On the highway where you're between one and 2,000 RPM, it sounds terrible. It drones, it's not good. It needs to come off and get replaced by a better one. Yeah, the drone was, was really bad. Also, this car has an old school mag ride setup with Tor and Sport. The shocks are tired. Mm -hmm. The bushings are tired. The software is like a Game Boy yeah. in there. It's pretty bad. So we may just have to take all of that out and put in a good modern setup. I, I mean, we've driven enough cars that had, you know, regular coilovers that rode both both more comfortably and handled better in the canyons. Right. Like, just because this has two modes doesn't mean that it's better. Right. The modes are too squishy and yeah. too bouncy. Yeah, two bad modes does not make a right. Right. The brakes also feel a little soft. It could just be old pads and old fluid, and based on the age of the tires, it's likely Probably. both. But we may need to go further than just new pads and fluid. Once we have that inspected, we can uh, we can find out what yes. it really needs. See if we need to go upgrades or not. But the expensive stuff, the engine, the gearbox, the bodywork, it's all there and it's all okay. Yeah. So that's good. So we have a, oh, that's a big that's hole. A big I don't hole. want to go in that nope. hole. Nope. We'll go up there. This does not have nose lift, does not have height no. adjustable suspension. So the goal is going to be to make this thing the perfect daily drivable canyon tool with the right power to weight, the right balance, and the right chassis improvements to make it feel like a modern and sorted car, which is 
in my opinion, totally doable. Absolutely doable. And yeah. this, this is such a great canvas because it's a Corvette. It's a it's a great layout. The engine's there. The weight is there. You know, great weight balance. Yeah. All the good materials are there. Yeah. And it's a solid foundation that just needs some uh, uh, reconditioning and improving mm -hmm. to be great. So go to getentertowin.com slash TST or hit the link in our video description. Buy some merch. Read the terms and conditions, understand what you're getting into, and you guys, at the end of July, one of you is going to take home this Corvette as tuned by the smoking tire. Thanks for watching, and stick around for the next one in this build series. We'll see you later.